Hello everyone. Welcome to another System Zones video. In this video, I will show MicroT Capsman basic configuration. Capsman is a centralized access point management application developed by MicroT team. Microtik introduces Capsman from RouterOS version 6.11 with Capsman version 1 and from RouterOS version 6.22 Capsman version 2 is running. Capsman provides an easy way to maintain multiple caps configuration from central database. In this video we will follow this network diagram. Here a router board will be used as Capsman and its IP address is 192.168.70.2 This router board has no wireless interface because Capsman does not require to have a wireless interface. We will configure a microtic wireless router as a cap and the cap will be provisioned with the Capsman configuration. So let's start the configuration. At first we will log in Capsman router which has no configuration so we will start from zero configuration. At first we will create a bridge interface that will be used as cap data file. So create a new one and put a meaningful name and providing cap data path and apply ok then we will assign one and LAN IP address so new one our one IP address is 192.168.70.2 30 on interface 1 and we will assign LAN gateway that is 10.10.70.1 10 10 1 bridge interface Now we will assign DNS and then we will configure gateway. So roots gateway IP address and I to do dot six eight seventy dot one and Our internet is ok. Now we will enable masquerade netting and action masquerade. Now we will configure DSCB server so that connected device can get IP address and other network parameters automatically. So go to IP and DCB server and then DCB setup. We will enable DCB on cap data path. Next, next gateway is and next and next. Okay. Now we will configure Capsman. So go to Capsman and then configuration new one. Put the configuration name Capsman. The mode will be AP and we will provide a SSID okay. 
we can also assign country and other parameters and then we will go data path and from bridge we will select our data path bridge interface and then we will configure security our authentication type will be wpa2 psk encryption will be aes ccm group encryption will do that and we will assign a passphrase that means password like okay now we will configure provisioning we will provision caps dynamically so we will giving action create dynamic enable and the master interface will be caps gone and other parameters will keep default Okay. Now we will enable caps manager. So enable apply. Okay. Our capsman is now ready to provision connected caps. So we will configure our cap now. Log into cap router. and then go to wireless and then cap enable cap we will enable cap on wlan interface and the discovery interface will be either one because either one is connected to our capsman router apply ok and within few seconds our caps will be provisioned and we can find that our caps is provisioned with this channel parameter and we can also find our caps is provisioned here and we have get a radio now we will we connected our micro cap with passphrase yeah. now we can see we are now able to connect to our configured cap Where no success. Okay. So this is for today. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any query, please put in comment. And if you are a newcomer, don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.